I can demonstrate how CO2 affects our climate with the use of this highly sensitive thermal imaging camera. Not only are we using this highly sensitive thermal camera, but we have a monitor for video output. We also have a one meter length cylindrical tubing that's connected to my CO2 cylinder, which I can regulate. We also have a Bunsen burner and one candle. Let's get to work. Now it's time to light the Bunsen burner and the candle. And I want you to notice closely how the highly sensitive thermal imaging camera actually picks up on the flame of the candle. The warmest of temperatures being that shading of white. Now watch what happens when I add CO2 to this glass cylinder. Of course, carbon dioxide is an invisible greenhouse gas, so you're not going to see it filling the glass tube. But what I want you to pay close attention to is what happens to the flame on the actual monitor. The carbon dioxide inside of the glass cylinder actually traps the heat. In essence, the candle's warmth is no longer reaching the camera. This is exactly how other greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide in our atmosphere works, preventing heat from escaping back into space. Derek Van Dam, E! News, Cape Town.